welcome inventor and let's talk about the 0.8 millimeters nozzle size today here on the channel and of course comparing that to the 0.4 that is the most common um, nozzle size you can have on your printer then i will show you some different models i printed uh, on this test and help you decide if this is the right uh, nozzle size uh, you can have to print your models so just remember this is a part of a series where i'm talking about uh, many different size of nozzles like 0 0.4 0 0.6 0 0.8 and 0 0.25 millimeters and i will show you uh, the results of all these different sizes so if you lost the last video please check the description you will find the link to the, the playlist and then you can watch uh, the 0 0.6 millimeters video where i talked about uh, most details okay so uh, then on this video i will try to be uh, a little bit faster talking about the results i will not entering on uh, the the small details like explaining what it's a layer adaptive and things like that so if you lost that and if you don't know what is a layer adaptive please check the link at the description and at the end of the video i will leave the link uh, at the screen so you can click and watch the previous video okay so let's start let's start talking about the 0 0.8 come with me So as always, I will use the FlashForge uh, 5M Pro to run those tests because this is, uh, on my opinion, the only printer on the market that has a real uh, quick swap nozzle. So you can change the nozzle in a matter of seconds. So if you have any other printer, uh, don't worry about that because the basically the same principles that applies to the different nozzle size for a uh, flash forge bamboo uh creality any cubic or any other brand will be the same so you can use the different nozzle size on any uh 3d printer brand you have and you will have basically similar results of course it depends on your printer and how your printer will behave but basically the same principles applies to all the printer's brands, okay? So let's start changing the nozzle on my FlashForge Adventure 5M Pro. Come with me. So this is a very, very simple process. Here I have my FlashForge. It's on, so you don't have to turn off your printer. The only thing you have to do is pull up your PTFE tube, cut the filament right at the bottom, and then come down here. So here, the only thing you have to do is press the, the two buttons and pull your nozzle down. So you have a little bit of traction because the filament is passing through the extruder gears. So just pull that carefully. Okay, then you'll have this small piece of filament, you just have to cut here. Cut this small part of filament that you have on the other point. Then take your new nozzle. In this case, it's a 0 0.8. Put on the slot. And press. You don't have to push those buttons when you put them back again, okay? So just push and you have the new nozzle on the right position. So right now, the only thing you have to do is putting your filament at the top of the extruder and get to the info menu and change the nozzle model, selecting the nozzle size you are using right now. Now, the only thing you have to do is ask to load the new filament. And in a couple of seconds, you will have your filament ready to print. Okay, so what is the better uh, or the most recommended kind of job you can do using the 0 0.8 millimeters nozzle size? Basically, is uh, when you have 
uh, a necessity of having a stronger part because the 0 0.8 it's even stronger than the 0 0.6 and stronger than the 0 0.4 considering that the most sensitive part of your 3d printed model are the perimeters where your filaments must to adhere uh, to the other layer so having a, a bigger uh, layer high you will have a more strange because the filament will be more solid on those uh, larger layers okay so one of the most uh, used uh, parts uh, with the larger nozzle are the vases okay so this kind of piece where you print using the vase mode then you will have a larger walls because this mold will print using just one pass uh, on each wall and then you will have a larger walls given the part more strange so then you can use to print like this uh, that is beautiful actually this one was printed using the pat g ember from dyna labs uh, and it's an awesome model I, I don't have a lamp here to test but i've tested this and the effect that this filament has is awesome so this is just one kind of uh, 3d models that you can print using the 0.8 millimeters nozzle and having a better results than printing on the 0.4 this is uh, one uh, 3d model printed using the phase mode with 0.4 and you can see that it's way more flexible but at the same time that you have more flexibility uh, this is a weaker part because too much strange uh, curve in this or flex in this, you can broke the wall. One good comparison for that is the max flow test. This is the max flow test for 0.4 millimeters nozzle, and you have a lot of flexibility on this because it's teeny. It's very very teeny. Then. You can compare with the 0 0.8 uh, max flow test, and you will see that basically it's uh, you can you can step on this because it's strong. It's very very strong, and this is only a test. You can hit this <laughs> somewhat, and it will hurt. And when you get this, this is flexible, but this is solid. Okay, so. This is the, 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 the main difference between the 0 0.4 and 0 0.8. But we have, of course, um, appearance uh, differences. I will not call this a quality difference because on my concept, quality, it's not related to the layer high. And it's related to the well-calibrated 3D printer and a well-calibrated filament profile, then you can have good results even having a higher uh, layer size, okay? So this is, the red one is, uh, was printed using the 0 0.4 millimeters nozzle and the black one was printed using the 0 0.8 millimeters. Of course, you can see differences especially on the shoulders uh, and at the top of the head but the 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 quality of these two parts are the same so you have a good quality print and honestly when i look at the the 0 0.8 millimeters model i can see a kind of different style uh of uh, printed uh, the, of the results it's not ugly it's not there it's, it's it's only different and of course when you see small line marks it's it looks more um nice but the 0 0.8 i have to confess that the 0 0.8 has its own style so i like it I like it. I, I I don't I don't see this as a bad part. And I have this two other parts here that I printed using the 0 0.8. And this is a very, very good example of a kind of part you can produce using this 
nozzle size, okay? This is a black one. This is a pen holder, okay? It's just to be clear, this is a pen holder. Um, it's a kind of a dinosaur. And this was printed using the black filament. And this one was printed using the white filament. And I have to say that I don't see a, a bad part. And it's very, 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 very strong part that you can uh, drop on the, the floor and you can put other things inside, even metal uh, tools or things like that, because this is a very, very strong model. And see that compared to the, the turtle, on a turtle, you can see the details on shoulders uh, and on the top of the head, but on this model, you have uh, basically no marks, and then you can print this kind of uh, 3D models on, using the 0 0.8 and earning a lot of performance, a lot of uh, saving a lot of time when printing. So let's talk about the, the saving times we can have using the 0 0.8. So, as you know, if you watch the, the, the previous video, uh, I will use the same benchmark uh, using the default filament uh, for one test and the, the custom uh, fine-tuned filament profile for the next test, okay? So the first test is with the default uh, filament profile. We're using the 0 0.4 millimeters, we had three hours and 14 minutes uh, of printing time. Then when we jump to the 0 0.8, we decrease this time to one hour and 52 minutes. Then basically we had 42% of uh, time saving here when we are printing with using the, the 0 0.8 millimeters. And I'm talking about the Ninja Turtle, okay? So I'm talking about this model. And we save 42%. Using the fine-tuned uh, filament profile, we had no difference using the 0 0.4. Uh, as I talked on the previous video, this is based on, uh, basically, the, the Chinese filament is the filament that this kind of 3D printer brands use to, to calibrate the printer, like Bamboo, uh, Creality and Flashforge, all of them uses the same kind of filament. Doesn't matter if it's Eason, uh, Creality, Hyper PLA, or whatever, uh, you will have basically the same uh, results. So, uh, 0 0.4, we had the same results, 3 hours, 14 minutes. Using the tuned filament here on the 0 0.8, we had the same results, 1 hour and uh, 52 minutes. Uh, we had no difference using uh, the, the tuned uh, profile for this filament. But when we try to apply the adaptive layers, which change the layer height depending on uh, which part of the model is being printed at that time, on the 0 0.4 millimeters nozzle, we had 4 hours and 25 minutes of printing time. And when we use the 0 0.8, we drop that time to 2 hours and 15 minutes. Here we had the, the biggest difference between the 0 0.8 and 0 0.4 because we earn 49% of performance uh, printing the same model, the turtle model. And just to be clear, on the 0 0.4 millimeters, we had a variation that came from 0 0.08 millimeters up to 0 0.22 millimeters uh, of a layer high, depending on the, the, which part of the model has been printed. And using the 0 0.8 millimeters, we had the minimum of 0 0.15 millimeters and the maximum of 0 0.4 millimeters. So basically the maximum high it's limited to half of the nozzle size. Even the 0 0.4 going up to 0 0.22, it's very, very close to the half to 50% of the nozzle size because having a, a higher uh, layer high on these cases, 
you can have a significant decrease of uh, layer adherence between each layer when you are depositing th those layers uh, with your 3D printer. I confess that I was expecting a, a, a bigger difference between 0 0.4 and 0 0.8, uh, probably having a more gross results in the final part. But even printing a Benchy, uh, we can have just a small difference between the 0 0.4 and the 0 0.8. But in any case, I will try to put on a screen using a macro lens to show you the difference between the layers uh, comparing 0 0.4 and 0 0.8, then you can see in the, uh, in the zoom on your screen. But just remember that this image, it's not uh, a real image because when you are watching with your own eyes, you cannot see a so bigger difference between uh, the two parts. Of course, you can see the difference, but it's not so relevant as you can see on the macro lens. Uh, watching the models with your own eyes uh, and considering the difference between the layer highs, that it's the double, uh, I honestly like the results. <laughs> Okay, inventors, this is all I have to say about the, the 0 0.8 millimeters uh, nozzle size. I hope you enjoyed this video and I have one more nozzle size to show you on the next video. That is the 0 0.25 millimeters. So if you are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell so then YouTube will notify you when the next video is ready to be watched. So thank you to watch you here. I see you on the next video and let's keep inventing.